In my previous video, I have covered on how to minimize JavaScript files using GrunchJS. In this video, we are going to see on how to use GruntWatch and automate minifying files as they are modified. First of all, what is GruntWatch? It is a simple GruntJS plugin which keeps an eye on all the files and folders based on your configuration and upon modifications to any of those files, it is going to execute respect to GruntJS task or target. So let us quickly see what I have in here. So this is a simple my app which is having a couple of source files. Those are the JavaScript files and a GrantJS and a couple of HTML files here. So if you see my package.json, all I have is grant and grant contribute actlify. So which means I would like to have JavaScript minification to be done using this plugin called grant contribute actlify. And these are the source files I have in place, app, one, and one more called two. So if I open one.js, you can see all I am doing is, it is saying, this is from first method. And again, from two.js, it says this is from second method. And t1.html actually gets everything from all.min.js, which is available in destination folder, like all.min.js. And this file is going to be automatically created by our grant using the grant file here. So you can see in the grant file, all I'm saying is that go through this source folder, get all the JavaScript files and combine those JavaScript files into one, minify that particular combined one and finally rename that to all.min.js and place it in destination. So this file is automatically going to be generated based on all the JavaScript files it finds in source folder. In order to test this, you can see this is Aglify, task and t1 is the target. So I can say something like grant Aglify target1. And you can see it says one file created. So even if I remove this uh, destination file here, for example, I go in here and say delete. You can see there are no files in destination and I go back here and the moment I say this one you can see all.min.js is automatically added and if I go back to my browser and refresh this we are going to see this is from first method and this is from second method okay so now let us get back to this and imagine I would like to have some modifications to be done to 1.js so I go to 1.js and I would like to say this is first sample method, for example. And once I modify this, I should save this. So I go to file, save. And in order to have this one to be reflected in all.min.js, I should go back to my prompt and again execute the task so that it refreshes all.min.js. And then again go back here and refresh this and I'm going to see this is first sample method. So executing this particular task from the command prompt is always a bit tedious. So which means while it is not a big step to do, each and every time you modify any of those particular JavaScript files, you know, if you have to come back to this prompt and execute this task, it might be uh, a bit of annoyment to the developer who cannot really, uh, you know, focus on other things while he is developing a particular application. So it might be a better idea if Grant can automatically detect any of those changes happening to those JavaScript files in a particular folder and executes the task automatically by themselves. So that is where the Grant watch comes in. So watch means watching for files. So whenever I say watching for files, it actually keeps an eye on the folder or all the files you might be letting it know. And while it is watching or keeping an eye on those, if any of those files are getting modified, it immediately tries to execute the respect to grant task or targets, whatever you specify. So in order to achieve that, the first thing is that we need to have the grant watch to be installed in our application. So we go to npm install grant contribute watch. And in this case, I would like to use save. You can also use save dev dependencies, whatever. So I just wanted to use save here. 
And if you get back to this, and if you open package.json, now you, you should be able to see current contribute watch. So that is made available there. And the next thing is that I had to modify my grant file in such a way that the grant watch is uh, configured. So earlier I configured only uglify. Now I need to configure grant watch. So the first thing is that I need to have grant contribute watch to be included as part of load npm task. And once that is there, I need to add watch task. So what do we need to watch? So the, okay, the first one is target. You can just put any name there as because I have only one target in this case. So I just put w1, you can rename to anything here, but this needs to be watched. So as part of w1 here, as part of my target called w1, what all I'm going to say is watch for all the files available in source. And within source, go to all the subfolders and watch for only JavaScript files. So that is how I'm specifying. So this is identical to whatever the specification I did here. So you can see here also I'm saying that go through all the JavaScript files, fetch them, combine them, minify the file and place it in this folder as this folder, I mean file name. So in this case what I'm saying is that please watch all the JavaScript files in all the subfolders from this source folder. Okay, so the next thing is that if any of those files are getting modified, what tasks need to be executed? So in this case, I'm going to specify a task and all I have the task right now is just uglify. So which means uglify and the target is T1. So I'm going to specify uglify T1. So which means if any of the files are modified or JavaScript files are modified, please execute this particular task, which is nothing but my task with T1, which essentially grabs all the JavaScript files and combines them, minifies them into one. So that is it. This is pretty straightforward. I just save this. I go back to my prompt and you can see, I go to, okay. Uh, the name of the task in this case is watch and the target is W1. So I would like to go for grant watch W1. That's it. And now you can see it is waiting, which means it is monitoring all the files available in that folder called source folder. And in fact, it actually watches or monitors only the JavaScript files. And as there are no modifications being done at the moment, it's just waiting. If there exists any modifications, it's going to immediately execute our task. And after the execution of this task, again, it starts waiting. So. Let me minimize this and let me push this a bit so that we are going to see what is going on while we are modifying things. So here I have this alert. This is first from sample method. So just imagine I'm going to remove sample here. So I'm going to say this is just first message instead. And after that, I'm going to say file save. The moment I save, you can see it has automatically picked that one. So it says that the file one.js has been changed and immediately it is executing our task called uglify.t1 and one file created. So if you go back to your all.min.js, you are going to see this is first message. So it has already modified immediately and you can see our grant task has been completed within these number of seconds and it is still waiting for the next modification. So I can go back to two and I'm going to say something like second message and I am going to say file save. Now you can see it says the second file has been changed and a new file has been created and if you go back to all dot min dot js you are going to see this is second message. So if you go back to your browser and refresh this you are going to see this is first message and this is second message. So this is pretty uh, straightforward video about grant watch. You can always use grant watch in order to monitor any of the files you configure and if any of those files get modified based on its content, it can automatically execute any of your grant tasks or targets you specify to the grant watch. Thank you.